So kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, huwag kalimutang mag-like and subscribe. Hi and welcome to another vlog. So for today's video, pag-aaralan naman natin kung paano kumuha ng square root ng isang perfect square number. Okay, so bago ko ituro sa inyo ang process ng pagkuha ng square root of a perfect square number, meron muna tayong dapat matutunan na pattern. Okay, so kung makikita ninyo, okay, we have uh, 1 square 1, 2 square um, is 4, 3 squared is 9, and so on and so forth. Okay, so kung mapapansin ninyo, doon sa tatlong column, okay, meron tayong pattern na nabubuo. So kapag ang perfect square ay nag end sa 1, okay, ang square root niya ay nagtatapos sa 1 or 9. So kung mapapansin ninyo yung 1 square, 1, okay, yung 81, square root niya is 9, and then, 121, ang square root niya is 11. Okay. 361, ang square root niya is 19. And then, 441, square root niya is 21. 841, ang square root niya is 29. So, nag end sa 1 or 9. Kapag naman ang perfect square ay nag end sa 4. Okay, ang square root niya ay nagtatapos sa 2 or 8. Okay, so we have there 2 squared is 4, 12 squared, 144, 22 squared, 484. Okay, tapos yung 8, ganun din, nagtatapos din sa uh, 4. So yung 64, ang square root niya is 8. Yung 324, ang square root niya is 18. And then 784, ang square root niya is 28. Okay, so nagtatapos sa... Pag ang perfect square ay nagtatapos sa 4, ang square root niya will either end by 2 or 8. Okay. Kapag naman ang perfect square ay nag-end sa 9, okay, ang square root niya ay nagtatapos sa 3 or 7. Okay. So, yung 3 squared, 9, 13 squared, 169, 23 squared, 529, and then yung 7 squared 49 17 squared 289 27 squared 729 okay kapag naman ang perfect square natin ay nagtatapos sa 6 okay ang square root ay um it's either magtatapos siya sa 4 or 6 okay so kung ganun din tignan niyo yung pattern okay so 16 196 576. Okay? And then, dun sa 6, we have 36. Tapos, 256 at 676. Okay. Kapag naman ang perfect square ay nagtatapos sa 5, ang square root niya ay nagtatapos din sa 5. So, 25 square root is 5. 225 square root is 15. 625 ang square root niya is 25. So, nagtatapos yung square root sa 5. At, kapag naman ang perfect square ay nagtatapos sa 0, okay, ang kanyang square root ay also a number that ends with 0. So, for example, 100 is, the square root of 100 is 10, square root of 400 is 20, square root of 900 is 30, and so on and so forth. So, kung mapapansin nyo, consistent yung pattern natin. So, kailangan natin tandaan yung pattern na yan as we um, do our technique sa pagkuha ng square root ng perfect square number. Okay. So, for example, kunin natin yung square root ng 324. So, yung unang step ay titignan natin yung last two digits ng number, ng given number. So, in this case, we have 24. Pero, mas pagtutuunan natin ang pansin is the last number, which is 4. So, kung babalikan natin yung pattern natin kanina, no, pag yung perfect square ay nag end sa 4, okay, it's either, okay, yung ating uh, square root ay nagtatapos sa 2, or 8. Okay. So, ibig sabihin yung last digit ng ating sagot, Pwedeng maging 2, pwede 8. So, paano natin yan malalaman? We'll go to the next step. 
Okay. So, ang next step natin is, titignan naman natin yung number, okay, dito sa harapan or the next place value. Okay. So, we have 3. Okay. Ngayon, titignan natin yung pattern na uh, nakita natin kanina. Okay. So, hahanap tayo ng perfect square na um, hindi lalagpas sa number 3. Okay. So, ano ba yung uh, perfect square na hindi lalagpas sa 3? That is 1. Okay? Kasi, ang susunod na dun is 4. Okay? So, mas mataas yung 4 sa 3. So, we'll go with 1. So, 1 will be your first digit. Okay? So, yung, una, yung sagot natin, okay, number 1 will be our first digit. Okay. Ngayon naman, okay, paano natin malalaman kung 2 or 8 yung last digit? Okay. Yung number 1 or yung perfect square na nakuha natin dito, we will be multiplying that to the next digit. So, kung, yung, kung 1 yung given natin, yung next digit niya is 2. So, we multiply it to 2. So, 1 times 2 is equal to 2. Ngayon, Ditingnan naman natin, okay? So, kapag itong number na to ay mas malaki dito sa 3, kukunin natin yung lesser digit. Okay? Pero ngayon, dahil mas malaki yung 3 sa 2, we'll get the larger number. And that is 8. So, yung second digit ng ating number is 18. Okay, so ang square root ng 324 is 18. Okay, so another example, we have the perfect square na 676. Okay, so uh, kukunin natin yung last two digits. Okay, at particularly we look into the last digit which is 6. So dahil 6 yung ating perfect square, ang square root niya ay mag end lamang sa either 4 or 6. Okay, so uh, mamaya malalaman natin kung ano yung last digit. But let's look at the first digit first. Okay, so we have the number, the next number here which is 6. Okay, so hahanap tayo ng perfect square na hindi lalagpas sa 6. Ano yun? That is the number 4. And then we get the square root of number 4 that is 2. Okay, so okay, that number 2 okay, is our first digit. Yan na yung first digit ng ating square root. So, we have the number 2. Ngayon, paano natin malalaman kung 4 or 6 yung ating next digit sa ating square root? Okay, so, yung 2 dito na nakuha natin kanina, i-multiply natin yan sa kasunod niyang number. Okay, so, 2, ang kasunod ay 3. So, 2 times 3 is 6. Okay, so, ngayon, teacher Julie, paano yan? Equal lang po yung 6 na nakuha natin dito at yung nandito sa taas. Okay, so paano natin malalaman kung 4 or 6 yung ating last digit? So, since equal lang yan, okay, we will go with the larger number. Okay, pero kung mas maliit yung given, okay, kukunin natin yung 4. At kung mas malaki naman yan, we'll get the 6. Pero that, this time, equal siya, we'll get the larger number, which is 6. So, Ang last digit ng ating square root is 6. Okay. So, um, the square root of 676 is 26. Alright. So, next example, we have 1,764. So, paano natin yung square root? Same process lang. Okay. So, first, we'll look at the last two digits. Okay. Particularly, the last digit, which is 4. Okay, so dahil sa 4, nag end yung ating perfect square. Yung square root natin will either end by 2 or 8. Okay. So, paano natin malalaman yung first digit? Kititignan natin yung next 2 digit ng ating perfect square. So, we have 17. Okay, so kukuha tayo, isip tayo ng perfect square na hindi lalagpas sa 17. 
Okay, and that is 16. And what is the square root of 16? That is 4. Okay, so yung 4. Okay. So the number 4, baba natin dito, will be the first digit ng ating sagot. Okay. So we have 4. And then, para malaman natin kung 2 or 8 ba yung last digit ng ating square root, multiply natin yung 4 sa susunod na number, which is... 5. So, we multiply that. 4 times 5 is 20. Okay. So, yung 20, mas malaki siya sa 17. Okay. So, mas maliit yung ating given. So, kung mas malaki, maliit yung ating given, we take the lesser number. Okay. Which is 2. So, ang ating sagot ay 42. So, the square root of 170. 1 1,764 is 42. Okay. So, next example, we have um, the perfect square 3,025. Okay. So, first step, tignan natin yung uh, last two digits. Okay. Nang ating given, which is 25. Ngayon, ang number natin ends with 5. So, according sa pattern natin, kapag ang perfect square ay nag end sa 5, okay, ang ating first digit, or sorry, ang ating last digit will be 5 as well. Okay. So, paan natin malalaman yung first digit naman ng ating square root? Okay, tingnan natin yung next two digits dito. So, which is 30. At, iisip tayo ng, um, isip tayo ng, perfect square na hindi lalagpas sa 30. Okay? And that is the number 25. At ano yung square root ng 25? That is 5. Okay? So, yun yung ating first digit. Okay? So, hindi na natin yan i-add, no? Kasi, or hindi na natin siya i-multiply sa 6. Kasi, um, wala naman tayong pinagpipilian dito sa ating last digit. Okay? So, now we know na ang ating answer, this is the first digit, 55, at yung last digit is this one, which is also 5. Okay? So, ang square root ng 3,025 is 55. So, ang dalilan, ba? Okay, so I hope na madami kayo natutunan sa video na ito. At kung nagustuhan nyo ang video na ito, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye! Okay,